Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition where I am going to 100% this whole galaxy. Only half our fuel remains. You guys will not have to see it. I will see if any missions look like they stand out to me. But also, I did see, um, there is something about having a certain number of resources that can become available to you in Mass Effect 3, if you have a certain number of, um, resources in Mass Effect 2. So I will be making sure, I, I think I have enough. I'm actually not really too terribly concerned about it. I will get some resources, whether or not I get the maximum number of resources, I'm not terribly concerned, but. Okay, wow. I forgot my emails. I understand you've taken Dr. Archer's brother to Grissom Academy. I'm familiar with the work. It should be a good home for him. I don't condone Dr. Archer's actions, but they did provide a breakthrough we've been sorely lacking thus far. We'll never, likely never find another individual with David Unique's talents. Though your decision is understandable, I set her, our efforts to understand the Geth back several years. Yeah, well, deal with it. Oh, these are some... What? Who is talking to me on, on this? The burst of energy that coincided with the retrieval of the Prothean artifact contained coded information. Most of the data was beyond our ability to track, but the threads we were able to decrypt it provided new avenues for research on transfer, energy transfer and biotics. Data indicates the artifact is in, currently inert and not dangerous. We wonder, however, if, that doc, if Dr. Case had more time, would he have unlocked its secrets? We will continue his research. A landmark find for humanity. You're welcome. Is this the elusive man? It was a close one on Karamudo, Shepard. Disturbing fact has come to light. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow, thank you. From Cerberus Command. Thank you, thank you for all these emails. I appreciate them. I believe I am well over... I think they said something about palladium, either palladium or platinum being kind of like the strongest indicator. I think it was palladium of like whether or not like you'll get oops, um, max amount of resources allocated to you in like initially allocated to you in Mass Effect 3, which is not like a huge deal. Like it's obviously you can get you can get whatever you need in game, but it's nice to have a head start. This is gorgeous. Pew, 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 oh my gosh. And then Shepard died. This is an interesting thing. I will pause, you know, so you can read it. This, we are in the Krogan system right now. So we have just a lot of interesting, like historical anecdotes and uh, especially about the Krogan rebellions. Little, little vignettes. Oh, I'm sure saying this is another one of those things. I'm actually in the Ilium system. Well, it's the system with Ilium in it. Um, which I'll probably stop by really quick. Um, just kind of doing some cleanup stuff. I did end up dropping, I don't know if I'll include it, but I did end up dropping off the last Citadel mission that I had. Essentially, I just talked to the lady at the front desk and was like, yo, these guys aren't Geth in infiltrators. The lack of flashlight heads should have clued you in. Um, and I forgot I should have brought Legion with me on that one because I think he might have said something. But Or it's just extra funny, even if he's not, like, even if he doesn't say anything, it's just extra funny to have a Geth right there. <laughs> but, um, anyway, at the bottom here, 
So some parahistorical theorists insist that the outer rings represent debris from a moon or moons destroyed by a mass accelerator bombardment. This has largely been rejected by every reputable xenoarchaeologist. While it is theoretically possible to destroy a moon utterly with dreadnought bombardment, no species sees a compelling reason to do so. Which is just... It's hilarious, honestly, because the Krogan Rebellions, I mean, we did asteroids and stuff. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I don't, like, a moon's a big step up, but still, it's like, you guys would definitely destroy a moon. But, also, this is pretty intense, and it would take a lot of firepower, which is what the Reapers have, so, yay. <laughs> Here we go again, more evidence of like uh, pre pro or Prothean or pre Prothean kinetic impact <laughs> craters stretching between these locations are shattered remains of magnetic levitation rail lines. Locations are Theni. Oh, is that another? That, I think that's a species that they actually do know the name of. Dang. See, this is one of those like archaeology things, like it, like Xeno archaeology things that happens, where you can bring things <laughs> with you on accident, or take things in with you that destroy the local, or like are consumed by, or cause some sort of reaction to, you know. Anomaly detected. Yes, Hylium is thought to be the homeworld of the Arthen, a spacefaring species which disappeared approximately 300,000 years ago. Precisely what happened to Hylium is still under debate. It appears a global extinction occurred, wiping out all native animal life forms more complex than zooplankton. Plant forms were not affected, but the lack of oxygen breathing life caused oxygenation of the atmosphere. Plant life was reduced after lightning storms and ignited global wildfires. The leading theory for Helm's devastation is an out of control biological weapon. For this reason, landing is prohibited. The corporations of Hylium have been placed in a network of quarantine satellites to dissuade would be looters from landing in the crumbling cities. There the is. All units report to ready stations for possible anti invasion protocol. Repeat. Unidentified ship detected in orbit. All units report to ready stations for possible anti invasion protocol. Detected in orbit. All units report to ready stations Interesting. for possible. Interesting. That's a Solarian voice, and there's not, found something. not supposed to be anybody down there. Mm, it's probably the eclipse then. Oh yeah, Eclipse Presence confirmed, yep. Stress beacon power down at site. Oh, uh, that sounds curious. Oh, I think that's the, actually, this is a base where the, some of the fire bugs get you. Okay, I do believe that I now have 100% and everything except for this is the arrival DLC system and the um, one where the oh, it's so hard I wish oh this one what's this one oh, it's so hard to see Which one is the Explore Normandy crash site? I think that's the 75% one. Everything else should be good to go. Not that it like really matters. Like you don't get an achievement for it. I just like reading all the blurbs, although I spent like the last 40 minutes speed reading them. Um, but I figured in this episode, I would, besides doing that, I would run to Ilium and get some more upgrades, make sure everything's good to go. How can you short sell on prefabs after these human colonies? The trade of organics is proscribed on worlds you term civilized. Yet none of you question the limited freedom Edie is allowed aboard Normandy. Okay, that came out of nowhere when I was looking at the... the oh, the system of trade, his... his, his, his leap of logic right. there was I mean it made sense but let's do it uh meta jail capacity the bypass module no oh, good uh, I 
I do not have the money for all this. Oh boy. I do want to make sure I've gotten all of that. I so the total cost difficult development for human expansion as the colony on horizon has been attacked. The council has I just want to run through alien really quick, make sure I got everything I wanted to. Oh, I was just thinking about this one the other day. We were just talking about this in the in a Twitch stream I had. Come here. Come here, you moron. What the heck? Stop worrying. Whoa. You signed the indentured service contract. You gave over your responsibility to me. So don't worry. Yeah, this is uh, one of those ethically, morally questionable things. It's okay, I'll think of something. You said synthetic insights would buy me. You said it was an easy sale. I assumed they would want an AI tech. Hello, can I help you with something? Have you made this quarry in your slave? We prefer the term indentured, so I'm sure you do. Before you do anything hasty, know that this Quarian signed the agreement voluntarily, and her servitude contract is completely legal on Ilium. If you actually want to help the Quarian, convince the Synthetic Insights representative to purchase her contract. What if I bought her myself? I could let her go, and everyone would be happy. A gallant offer with three problems. First, her technical skill merits a contract of several hundred thousand credits. There's also a fee for freeing me before my service period ends. Exactly. And finally, you are clearly a traveler. Her service contract requires that she I, remain on Ilium. I could just take her. I don't want them to take me off to a mine somewhere. I could just take her. I am a specter. You know, I feel like I don't know why I don't just pull that. Like, I'm a specter. She's mine now. And then I'm like, okay, off you go. Here's some credits to help you out, you know? Why did this quarry and sign herself into slavery? I love this. I tried to play the stock market. I'm good with numbers, and I thought I had a way to make unlimited money. I lost everything. Then I got a credit line and lost that. Then I took out an illegal loan. Get the picture. As part of our agreement, I paid off her debts. Five years from now, she'll have a fresh start and excellent work references. Sounds great. Unless you lose her paperwork or come up with a reason to hold her longer. All contracts are monitored by Ilium Law Enforcement. In a case such as you described, the burden of proof would be on me. No system is perfect, but safeguards are set up to protect all parties. And what if law enforcement doesn't care? What if law enforcement is bribed? The system is faulty. <laughs> like, But I do love how Shepard is just like, slavery, slavery, slave. And the woman's like, please. And it's like, no, it's, it's slavery. You can call it indentured servitude if you want, but it means that she has sold her labor, she has sold herself and her labor in a contract, and has no control over her life now. <laughs> if slavery's legal, then why are you trying to sell the quarry in? I don't keep service contracts myself. I'm a contract broker. I assumed Synthetic Insights would jump at the chance for a skilled AI tech, but they won't even make me an offer. Why not just keep her? You said she had technical skills. Quarian's strict health requirements and diets make them expensive to house and feed. I run at a minor profit at best. I don't have the money for constant suit repairs and clean room facilities. So what happens if Synthetic Insights won't take me? A solution always presents itself. Yeah. I will take care of you. Yeah, and sell her to a mine. You know what I mean? Like, this woman could do whatever she wants, according to this contract. Like sell her to a brothel you know she doesn't have to do she's she's trying to use her technical skills because it'll probably get her it's more profitable but like yeah no this it, the solution always prevents it presents itself for her not necessarily for the quarian so slavery is legal on ilium indentured service <laughs> yeah. will last a set amount of time or until agreed upon conditions are met ilium must approve all contracts the law limits what restraint or corrective options I can use and what tasks I can legally assign her. I'm also legally responsible for her behavior and health. Abuse is absolutely forbidden. I'll talk to the Synthetic Insights rep and see what I can do. Really? Thank you. I'd appreciate that. Well, you know, it's one of those, like, uh, between a rock and a hard place kind of things. Like, now I have... Somebody who respects you. So 
Now I have to be like, I feel like I have to get dirty for this, but I'm like, I don't want her sold to a minor or brothel, you know? Can I help you with something? Would you like a Quarian? <laughs> How'd you like to get your hands on an expert Quarian AI programmer? If you'd like to submit a resume, I... Wait, is this that slave? Synthetic Insights has no interest in purchasing slave labor. We're under enough scrutiny from the Citadel without engaging in practices the Council disapproves of. To be frank, we're hardly hiring anyone. The Geth attack on the Citadel didn't engender much love for artificial intelligence. Uh, it's interesting. <laughs> her, her, because, like, she's an Asari, right? And I guarantee you not all Asari, like, agree with this model that's happening on Ilium. This is an asari held world. But she's like, no, it's straight up slavery. I'm like, yeah, it is. <laughs> but this, this is also a better outcome. Like, I don't know. It feels kind of dirty at first, but this has actually turned out to be a pretty good outcome, I'm pretty sure. It sounds like Synthetic Insights is worried about its reputation. Hiring this Quarian would help. Buying a slave helps our reputation. How exactly do you figure? Purchase the contract, minus the fee for early emancipation, then free the quarry and garnish wages for reimbursement. Interesting. We look good for hiring a quarry and we can say that we freed slaves out of the goodness of our hearts. All right, I'll run up a contract. The board might wet its pants, but we could use the good publicity. This quarry had better be good, though. Garnishing the wages is maybe not the greatest, but you know, it's something. It's not taking all of her wages, hopefully, but hopefully this woman here actually does care a little bit and makes it a decent, you know, win-win situation. Synthetic Insights just sent over the contract. I cannot thank you enough. I didn't do it for you. I did it for her. Regardless, the kindness to her is mine to repay. Here, free of trouble. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll get this service contract transferred. Thank you. I'll stay out of trouble this time. Man, I should have brought green tally. I don't think I don't know if tally says anything, but uh, no, nope, we're good on there. You know that new drug, the one that causes permanent neural scarring? That's horrible. There's a 12-page contract for shipping, then a waiver for you. Eclipse might be fun for you. For me, it's the future. My clan's breeding strategy is at stake. Oh, I just don't have the money for all of these. The damage projection, submachine gun damage, and the heavy skin weave. Uh, potentially doing the rest of the side missions would get it for me, but... And these are all things I would actually like, honestly, <laughs> like for myself. Oh well. Don't Solarians think about me. What about a fish? She loves the garden. We could add a pond. <gasps> what? Did I have I not looked at this? This is what I was missing. Also, I'm gonna get the little fishy. She doesn't need your sure gateway weapons and armor are good enough for eclipse? Yeah, I've got a friend in Eclipse. She told me. You can sell something that dangerous with just a contract and a waiver? These are the Terminus systems. Everything. They should be prohibited from breeding. What was your father again? Solarian. I don't know. That still sounds like an awful thing to legalize. All the dangers are right there on the package. It's legally Look required. Who breeds though? Perhaps you so need to explore other the options. I need 
minimal heat increase and speed. This is a recall notice. All users of Coros brand medical radiation systems are asked to discontinue. I'm gonna see if Liara. I feel like there might be something else we can do for her that isn't the Shadow Broker DLC. Shepard, it's good to see you again. So, what can I do for you? How's your own work going? The data you gave me was extremely helpful. The Shadow Broker mm -hmm. has several contacts here on the Ah, here we go. The most powerful is someone called the Observer. Taking down the Observer will put me closer to the Shadow Broker. I could use your help. This is garbage here. Tell me what I can do to help. Your data pointed me at logs kept by Shadow Broker agents. The logs were deleted, but it may be possible to reconstruct some of it. The Shadow Broker is cautious. His agents are referred to only by their title and race. My inquiries have narrowed the Observer down to one of five operatives. A Turian, a Salarian, a Krogan, a Batarian, and a Vorcha. If you can refine the list, I'll know where to strike. Do you have any specifics on these agents? I'm afraid not. Nixeris was lucky to get as much as she did. I was happy to help, ma'am. Mm -hmm. The data is our only hope of determining which one is the Observer. And if we wait too long, they'll all disappear. I gotta get the mod to change your eyebrows. I'll reconstruct the data and tell you what I find. Thank you, Shepard. When you find something, call me on the radio channel we used in the old days. I can't risk handling this in person. I think this I'll is actually later, a renegade mission, too. Technically. I don't trust you. She's way too, like, schmoozy. Oh, I'm so happy to help you. La 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 la. What? What? It was named after me. I heard that. Uh. Oh, that was Conrad Werner. Oh, okay. I see now. I was like, what is going on? That was Conrad Werner saying something about... I couldn't remember. I didn't hear... Oh, dang. I didn't hear all of it. Um, but uh, apparently he started a charity to help refugees and like war veterans something like that listen maybe I'm just blind but I am not like I can't I can only do this if you freaking give me oh my gosh it was right there holy cow this one's short Turing content working about what the traitor observer has rescinded kill order against him, given difficulty in securing contact with the traitor through other messages. Shepard, did you get any information yes. on the observer? Blah, 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 blah. Oh, not yet. Let me search for more data. I'll get back to you. This ends Thank up being you. like Let me know what you find. Like a puzzle. Uh, or like a like a word puzzle kind of. Where you gotta kinda like, you know, so and so talk to so and so and so and so was there available. No was seen way. talking to so-and-so when when this person so they couldn't have been you know the observer or whatever you know you're making money off people oh my gosh I was trying to get to hack five things right to get all the data points because there's an, a certain outcome that I want and you have to get all the data points for um, and Pre and one article that I was reading was like, oh, they're all on the floor right below Liara's um, office. All you gotta do is just wander around. 
and you'll find them all and I've been staring at them for like it feels like 30 minutes but it's probably like 10 and like getting you know I've gotten all the data and I've looked well most of the data I've looked at it and stuff but I was just like oh my gosh and I can't find this other one turns out it's in the eternity bar which is close by but it is not on the floor below Liara's uh office like oh my gosh whatever that article was what article don't trust the IGN one or maybe it's not the IGN one I had to I had to redo my search so maybe it's not that article but the second article down <laughs> with my initial one uh so this was so you have all these right Trigger to kill the Pisarian claims whether he hates slavery, but the men will not be fighting over money. So you can cross the, uh, the Batarian off the list, right? Because they're not being labeled as observer. Uh, smuggler and assassin have refused to work with the Vorchas. Cross the Vorcha off the Turian. Uh, and the Salarian here, observer recommends terminating him and framing the assassin for Salarian contact. So then I checked off Turian, Salarian. Uh, Batarian and da da da. Yep, Zerus rescinded the order to uh, rescinded the kill order. The Vorcha traitor. So then that crosses off the Vorcha. Um, but this one is key here is that um, the observer recommends a kill, but she may have a grudge. Um, so that's the Vorcha traitor tried to kill the Batarian. So they're both men. Uh, smuggler and assassin. Okay. Sorry, I had to break it down again. But the way that they indicate the smuggler and the assassin have refused to work with the Vorcha due to lack of trust. Observer, Turian's asking me questions. Observer recommends terminating him and framing the assassin or the Salarian contact. But here. Uh, no, wait. Oh, how did I do it? Dang it. Um. So the assassin is not the Salarian, here, obviously. Uh, the Turian is not the assassin. Um, the Borcha is not the assassin because that's the traitor. And the Batarian is a slaver, so that leaves the assassin, I think, as the Krogan. And see, there's Odyssey scruples from the men at this point, so it indicates the smuggler and the assassin are also both men. It indicates the Batarian and the Vorcha are men. Um, and Turian contact is indicated as a him. This is important because at this final data point clue, it is indicated that the observer is a woman. So all of these data points together, especially when you like parcel it all out and like keeping track, not just of like the race, but like um, their occupations. Um, at least if I parsed it out right, and I, I, I know that I'm right. So the observer is a woman. I think, oh, okay, we gotta, we gotta call her. I thought she'd call me. Shepard, did you get any information on the observer? So this, these are the, you, if you don't get all the data points, you have these options and it's like, kill the so-and-so, especially because people would maybe think it's the Krogan because the Krogan isn't necessarily indicated by, they, well, they aren't indicated by their race. They're only indicated by their profession. Um, so you're like, hmm, and like you don't see he or him associated with Krogan, with the Krogan at all. So it's like, maybe the Krogan's a woman, you know? Um, and they, they, they're the observer, but that, that is not how it is. They're actually the assassin. <laughs> at least I think so. I'm not 100% sure, but, but I do happen to already know that I'm right in who the observer is. So, <laughs> so we get to do this. All five of the suspects are male. The observer is female. Something's not right. Who gave you this lead? My assistant, Nick Saris. She got the information. Nick Saris gave me the information. Nick Saris, could I see you in here for a moment? Shepard, I'll talk to you later. Ah, uh, yo, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> can you just, can you just click on them? Have I done that? I don't understand. 
humans celebrate wedding contracts by tempting infidelity? Yeah. That makes no sense. Calm down, man. Don't embarrass me in front of the stripper. What do Turians do? Do Turians do this too? I'm just here for the drinks. <laughs> I think we have clicked on that. There is a funny... Oh wait, have we... Let me see. I feel like we've probably done it, but... You said that bachelor parties are for very close uh... friends. We're just co-workers. We've been co-workers for five years, though. Aren't Solarian years like dog years? Okay, now that's offensive. I appreciate the gesture, but my people don't even have sex drives the way humans do. Uh-huh. Take a look at that, man. Everybody likes the Asari. Everybody. But we actually reproduce by... My word. She is very... <laughs> Yeah, they, uh... I can appreciate her dancing in an aesthetic mm -hmm. manner, but I don't have feelings of... She is a lovely shade of blue. Okay, that makes my legs hurt just watching it. And my knees are meant to bend that way. This isn't as bad as I fear. It's actually... Is it warm in here? Okay, you see that bit there? The little divot in her abdomen? It's called a belly button. Humans and Asari have them, and you're gonna be doing shots out of it later tonight. That can't be sanitary. <laughs> Not the point, man. <laughs> I can understand why I might find Asari. See, this is an inter this is the interesting part. How can part. they be attractive to humans too? They look just like Solarians. Mm. What? They look exactly like us. I'm I, I'm not seeing the Solarian thing at all. At all. You're both wrong. Asari look just like Luke. This Terry. woman is like, I don't get paid enough for this. You don't think they're like mind controlling us to see them as attractive, do you? Please be quiet. You're going to ruin Asari for me. <laughs> there aren't many Turian women on Helium. <laughs> You're going to ruin Asari for me. <laughs> no, but there is there is an indic there is an indication, I think, in the lore and with that, that um somehow apparently the Asari, of course, as the only monogendered female air quotes race. In the galaxy are attractive to everybody. To be fair, I'm pretty sure the way they biologically like explain it is that it's it's for the Asari's own reproduction as well. Like they can they can reproduce, you know, they basically reproduce by mind melding. Um, and I don't really know how that works exactly, but they reproduce by mind melding. And um, so it I can't I this guy this guy is so annoying. Um, but it's to it's to it's basically like a, a Darwinian thing, right? Like an evolutionary thing where it's like survival of the luckiest or like a, a, a singular trait of some sort that tends to, that helps you survive. And for the Asari being attractive to, like for any species, right? Being attractive to a potential mate and helps you reproduce and produce more, you know, babies. And, you know, produce, like, what is it? Like continue the species, you know? And so eventually over time, it selects for a sorry that I think probably do have some sort. I can't. I don't know if this is exactly like how it is, but I think it's some sort of like aura type thing. I could be totally making this up, but like there's a percept. There's a perception thing. Like for the Turians, right? Like you can see how like the the Asari like head tentacle things could potentially be seen as like a fringe type thing. Um, and like they're like hairless. They're essentially like hairless, and like you can they're like like solarians right and they kind of like, i guess like you could say maybe like the tentacle things have a similarity to some of the like little solarian nubbins up on their heads you know and they're all like the human similarity obviously look they the like humans to us so like i don't really need to explain that but they're all they're bipedal you know like like everybody else is i guess but like you know they look like humans <laughs> So I think there is, there is, and maybe oh, if I had kept with it, maybe there's an, they might have kept with it in the conversation, but I think each species kind of sees something of themselves. This is probably the best way to say it. Each species, besides the Asari, sees something of themselves in the Asari, um, and it is something that is attractive to them. Um, so I think it's probably helped when the Asari started expanding, you know, into space and, like, interact with other species. This has probably been selected over, like, some certain generations. But, like, then again, it works on humans, and humans are freaking... I think humans are just horny, though. <laughs> you know? Like, they haven't seen humans around enough to, like, have any sort of, like, you know, evolutionary trait that's encouraged by, like, reproduction with humans by any means. 
Oh, I'm just talking, aren't I? I'm just, uh, I'm throwing half-remembered codex entries out in my own potential headcanon on the matter. Hmm, okay, let's go. Maybe I'll just edit all that out, because god dang, I just keep talking. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, how's it going? Shepard, it's good to see you again. Nixera's had some interesting data hidden away. What? Thank you, Shepard. I wouldn't have caught her without you. I'm one step closer what? to the Shadow Broker thanks to you. Here. Nexeris was very well compensated. You need it more than I do. What? Did you have any trouble with Nexeris? She was very talented. I imagine that had she been ordered to assassinate me, I had never seen her coming. But her barriers needed practice. Practice I'm afraid she won't be getting. What's the next I'm step supposed in your to hunt? be here for the fight. Now I gather information, peel away layers of lies, and shine light into the shadows. And when I find the shadow broker, I hit him with a biotic field so strong that what's left of his body will fit into a coffee cup. Be careful out there, Liara. Don't turn into the thing you're hunting. Says the dead specter working for Cerberus. Don't worry, Shepard. I'm not my mother. Everything I'm doing, I'm doing of my own free will. For better or for worse. No. Is there anything else I can help you with? That was a low blow, by the way. Listen. I'll talk to you later, Leo. The thing that I'm most not wanting to turn into is a reaper, obviously. Those are my big baddies. <laughs> um, and also, there's, it's supposed to be a pretty epic fight. Like, Nixeris is supposed to come in and, like, well, maybe, maybe it happens, like, if I didn't I don't know. I know I've seen that fight before. There must be some sort of contingent. Maybe if I start the Shadow Broker DLC too soon, Nixeris comes in and tries to prevent us from going, and we're like, oh no, which Nixeris? Or you know what maybe happened last time? Is I probably did click on the Krogan. That's probably what happened. I had her assassinate the Krogan, and then. Or I told Liara, yeah, we had to assassinate the Krogan, and then Nixeris got out scot free. Maybe. I'm maybe totally again making this up like I seem to do but maybe then Nixeris was like dun 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 when we tried to get the shadow when we tried to go get the shadow broker but it was a pretty cool fight to see Liara like you know beat somebody up pretty hard you know are you a Corian or Volus who is tired of being passed over for promotions because of discrimination against exo suit wearing employees genetic paradigms invite you to consider how can you uh, genetic paradigms invite you to become lab rats <laughs> But no, yeah, I... Dang it. <laughs> I, it's At least I remember it being kind of cool. And, like, Nixera's, like, coming in and it's like, blah, and Liara's like, blah, and, like, yeah. Anyway, oh well. <laughs> Alas. Uh, however, I think we finished up basically everything we could do. That 5,000 credits wasn't enough to get me anything from that I wanted, I think. From the other terminal here on Ilium. Dang, I think I've been recording just under under an hour and a half for this one, so that's cool. That's cool. Hopefully, I am just not making my life easy with editing. Like, it's just not going to be easy to edit all that. I just want it simple, easy, like 25 to 30 minute videos that I could just chop off the end in the beginning and we'd be good to go. Anyway, this is not... Oh yeah, and I found so many things. There's javelin missiles that have been launched at this system. I found another wrecked thing. There's a blood pack communications relay. Investigate the eclipse presence. Blue sun's base. Yeah. All of these, I well, most of these actually, I really do think are pretty cool sounding in some ways, but I also kind of just want to get on. so much to do because I have to do the suicide mission well first I have to do the Normandy crash site then the suicide mission then shadow broker and then arrival maybe I'll do some of these on my own time for funsies but I say that but I don't really have a ton of free time to play video games <laughs> my free time is playing video games for YouTube for the most part anyway Thank you all so much for joining me. I'm sorry once again for rambling so much. I hope I was able to edit most of it down, but if I end up just not having the time, it's probably going to be included, and I apologize. But I've been very 
just extra chatty. I know that's why I'm doing this. I talk to myself. I talk to you guys, essentially, but it's delayed. I'm talking to myself. And I'm rambling again. I'm going to stop doing that. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons who are saints who put up with me, especially because I don't update you as often on Patreon as I want to. Thank you so much for your support. I appreciate it. Really quick. Uh, specifically, I want to say thank you to my sapling tier patron, Ray Scalito. Thank you so much for your support. And an extra special shout out to my two tree tier patrons, Christopher and Adam. Thank you guys so much for your support. You guys are both the super bestest, and I really appreciate all your support, truly. And your like help, like your comments and like your uh, was I guess uplifting messages is the <laughs> is the best way I can put it right now. My brain is fried. I've been playing video games for like eight hours. Uh, but thank you again, and I will see you in the next one.